Hey everybody, this week we're going to do another useful things you can 3D print video. We're going to print this 3D printed knife light switch. Here we go. Here we are in Thingiverse. We have our Frankenstein light switch by Lobo CNC. As you can see, there are many different variations of it. Um, you can have you know up to three switches. Change it around however you want. And this even has a model for your not regular light switches, but your like a, a toggle kind of switch. I'll throw out a picture of what I'm talking about here. Here is all of his licensing information. Um, commercial use is allowed and all of that good stuff. So we go into files, download the files that you want. You don't need to download all of them. You just need to figure out what size you want to print and print that. Sorry for the extra noise guys, I have the 3D printer running behind me. As you can see, most of the parts printed out pretty well. Got all of them here. The plate itself printed with some support material along the back. So I'll do a time lapse to remove that. I've just got screwdriver, little putty knife, and some cutting tools. Hopefully that'll be enough. out we might have to sand this a little bit but I think it's going to work so now let's go install this on our light switch so we've got our three pieces this one's got the little nubs on it so it just snaps into place on this one all right so and then we need to screw this play piece into the light switch and then get this piece to stay on there so we can toggle it First what I'm going to do is put this on, and as you can see this box isn't flush with the wall. So instead of our switch being, our plate being flush like this, it's going to stick out a little bit. Um, and that's just something we, we live in a uh, single wide trailer, so that when this was installed the wall wasn't quite put together right. So any plate you have in a situation like that is going to be off the wall like this what you could do in your model if you wanted to is build up a little bit around each side measure what your gap is and build up that outside layer and then it would just be completely brown sticking out and you wouldn't be able to see in there I did pick this hardware um, just because it is an older looking brass hardware so it kind of goes with the whole theme of the switch so I've got that in there so that didn't quite go as planned this switch is slightly larger than a regular light switch so the model worked fine on my regular switches but this one has been changed out at some point as you can see it's a gray one instead of the regular white 
So all I had to do was take a drill and just kind of carve out with a file a little bit the uh, inside square. And then this piece fits on here just fine. And I keep flipping the lid off. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button so you can see all the next videos coming out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you want to make this model yourself, it will be linked below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.